Hey guys, welcome back to Stacking Stocks. Many thanks for tuning in. NEO confirmed that NEO Day 2021 is going to go ahead as planned on December 18th, and the company started accepting user registrations. We're going to discuss what NEO Day 2021 is all about and what investors should expect or not expect. So sit tight and stay tuned. Due to the recent sporadic COVID-19 cases, many people were concerned whether the upcoming NEO Day 2021 would be held as planned. Now, NEO has given their confirmation and is starting to allow user registrations. NEO confirms that the impact of the outbreak has made preparations and approvals a little more cautious and time-consuming this year. However, that's not interfered with the company's plans because the event is set to continue as scheduled. The theme of this year's NEO Day is Hello World, compared to last year's Always Forward. The schedule released by NEO shows that the event will start at 7 p.m. Beijing time on December 18th, and last until 8.30 p.m. Nothing has changed. The event will still be held at the Suzhou Olympic Sports Center. The user registration was opened until 12 noon on December 10th. All NEO app users were allowed to participate in the registration, and each user could register for up to two tickets and pay using 1,000 NEO credits for each ticket in advance. Participants will need to have a negative nucleic acid test report within 48 hours of the event, and will need to wear a mask throughout the event, according to NEO. Due to the limited number of seats available at NEO Day, NEO will screen those who are able to obtain tickets at 7 p.m. on December 10th. The calculation of NEO points was done until 12 noon on December 10th. For those who were not selected, NEO credits were returned within 24 hours. NEO is using electronic tickets for NEO Day for the first time this year, and users who have received tickets can view them in the NEO app. Users who were not able to travel to the site could also attend different regional sessions and applications were open on December the 11th, according to NEO. NEO also announced on October 18th that NEO Day 2021 would be held on December 18th this year at the Olympic Sports Center in Suzhou. NEO announced on October 18th that NEO Day 2021 would be held on December 18th this year at the Olympic Sports Center in Suzhou, Jiangsu Province a city located about 100 kilometers west of Shanghai. NEO is expected to release a model including one called the ET5 at that time, as well as another unknown model. The company's previously mentioned brand for the mass market is also expected to be announced at that time. But the recent appearance of sporadic COVID-19 cases in Shanghai, Jiangsu, and Zhejiang had led many to question whether NEO could still hold the event in Suzhou as planned. In the early days of December, the NEO Day Organizing Committee said that NEO Day 2021 is being prepared in an orderly manner and that the company is continuing to pay attention to the epidemic control regulations in Suzhou and will actively respond to the national call for strengthening epidemic prevention and management. So with the NEO Day 2021 looming on the horizon, what's in the pipeline for the stock? At the NEO Day 2021 in December 2021, the EV startup could show off a cheaper entry-level ET5 electric sedan. It could also reveal a new mass market brand. The upcoming event could end up being a catalyst for NEO stock. The recent surge in the share price comes as the company's annual NEO Day event approaches, and it has also announced recent progress on its global expansion plans. In fact, the Hello World theme for NEO Day implies the company will update investors further on its growth aspirations outside of China. The growth in the electric vehicle sector is expected to be global, and the International Energy Agency sees China and Europe as leading the secular trend. The agency believes global EV sales will be dominated by those two markets through 2030, and NEO seems to recognize that with its move into Norway earlier this year. The company plans to expand into Germany next year as well. NEO recently announced a new strategic partnership with energy giant Royal Dutch Shell that will aid that expansion in Europe as well as growth in its domestic Chinese market. NEO and Shell plan to construct and operate battery charging and swapping stations in both China and Europe. The companies will begin to install pilot stations in Europe next year and will add 100 battery swapping stations in China by 2025. NEO offers a battery-as-a-service swapping option for customers that lowers the upfront cost of the vehicle and provides NEO with ongoing subscription revenue. The Hello World theme of the company's upcoming NEO Day presentation implies it will discuss its 2021 expansion into the Norway market and likely also its plans to grow in Europe. 
Investors seem to be taking advantage of the drop in share price in recent weeks to jump in leading up to that presentation. NIO has increased its production capacity at the Hefei factory, which is jointly run with Chinese automaker JAC. This upgrade has boosted the capacity of the company by 20% annually. The new production capacity of the plant is 120,000. It'll double the capacity in the first half of next year, which will take it to 240,000. It shows the strong market potential and capability of the company. NIO anticipates an increase in demand in the coming months. The timely expansion of production capacity will allow the manufacturer to meet the demand and ultimately report high revenue and sales numbers. If the company launches a new model on NEO Day, the increased production capacity will help meet that demand. There are a lot of analysts bullish on NEO stock. There are Wall Street analysts who consider the stock a great buy with a high growth potential. Citic Securities analyst Jiang Kong Huang has a buy rating on the stock with a price target of $45. Bank of America Securities analyst Ming Song Li has a buy rating for the stock with an average price target of $62. The analyst is impressed with the strong delivery momentum of the company. Furthermore, Goldman Sachs analyst Fei Fang has upgraded the stock to a buy with a price target of $66. The analyst accounted for the sales of the ET7 and believes that it will drive growth in 2022. The EV industry is showing no signs of slowing down, and NEO has an impressive growth story. The company's delivery numbers are strong and continue to impress investors. The positive anticipation about NEO Day and third quarter results will take NEO stock to new highs. We believe the stock will continue the upward momentum in the coming months. The international expansion plans and introduction of new models is going to drive interest and investment in the company. NEO has massive growth potential, and it could hit around the $50 range very soon. So back to the NEO Day 2021. NEO is expected to give an update on whether the ET7 sedan is on track to begin deliveries by early 2022. Another sedan going by the name of ET5 could make its appearance at the NEO Day 2021. NEO has been sounding out its intention to launch a mass-market vehicle under a different brand name. Founder and CEO William Lee confirmed the company's second quarter earnings call that NEO had assembled a core team for that purpose. NEO also said it plans to deliver three new models, including the ET7 by 2022. These models are going to be using the NEO Technology 2.0. The company's long-rumored sports car named EF9 could be unveiled at the event as well. The news source premised its deduction on the registration of the trademark for EF9 by the company. Rumors also suggest that the EF9 could be the convertible version of the NEO EP9, which was once the world's fastest car when it was unveiled in November 2016. Now, in a nutshell, there are a lot of rumors building up about NEO Day 2021. We just have to wait and see what happens on that day. Probably there are some new brands NEO will launch on December 18th. And as investors await the D-Day, it's important to note that the event could act as a catalyst for the stock. Whatever happens on that day will have an impact on NEO stock price. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for tuning in today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time right here on Stacking Stocks.